you found the chart icon, you will see an arrow beside it. Click it. Here, you will see different types of charts that you can choose from. For example, column chart, line chart, pie chart, and many more. For today, we'll look at column chart. Here you can see different types of designs. For example, cluster column, stacked column, 100% stacked column, 3D cluster column, 3D stacked column, and many more. For today, I'll use cluster column. Once you've found it, double click it. After that, you will see Excel. What you need to do is you need to minimize it. What you do is you make your arrow go to the corner of the Excel page. Hold it, click it, and then drag it. Make sure it's small enough so that you can still type on it, but you will still be able to see it. After you've done that, drag it to the corner. Here is where you input your data. This is by clicking on category 1, category 2, category 3, category 4, series 1, series 2, series 3, deleting them, and then typing something. For today, I'll be using topics. So what you do is you'll type the type of topic that you want. For example, English. Maths, Science, and History. Once you've done that, you can also change the series, Series 1, Series 2, and Series 3, by clicking it again, and then deleting it. After that, what you'll do is click it again, and start typing. For example, first group, well series 2 again, click it, delete it, start typing, second group, and then for the last one, click it, delete it, and then start typing, third group. You can also change the data that's put in it, for example, the first group, only 10 people can like English, so you type 10. Once you've done that, click enter, and you see the chart has changed. For maths, maybe 5 people, enter, science, 4 people, and history, let's say 11 people. Once you've done that, you can also do it to the second and third group. After you've done, click the minimize button, which is on the left hand corner. Once you've clicked it, you will see chart design. Below it, you will see different types of charts that you can choose from. If you're allowed to change your chart design, click a design. For example, this design. I'll click it and then we'll change to that design or this design or this design or this design any design that you like after that you can also change the color of your chart what you have to do is click change colors once you clicked it you'll see many colors for example, if you want to have a green, blue, yellow design, you click it and it will change to green, blue, yellow. If you want to have maybe a orange, yellow, green design, you click it and it will change the orange, yellow, green. But if you just want simple colors, 
for example blue dark blue and an even lighter blue you click it and it will change to dark blue slightly dark blue and an even lighter blue if you would like to switch the column from first group and english maths science history group you have to click switch column slash row this will only work on column charts not pie charts but it also works on line charts once you've clicked it as you can see it will change from first second third group from being the bottom to being the top and english from our sites and history from the top will go to the bottom and finally if you want to change your chart type move your cursor all the way to the chart type icon and beside it you'll see an arrow click it there you'll see many types of charts for example line chart pie chart combo chart waterfall chart map chart xy scatter chart statistical charts and many more for example if I was going to change my chart to a line chart, I'll click it. And after that, I'll see the first type of chart that I can put it in, the second type of chart which is stacked line, the third 100% stacked line, the fourth line with markers, the fifth stacked line with markers, the sixth 100% stacked line with markers, and so on. For this presentation, I will use line. After that, you'll see how the chart has changed from the columns becoming lines. The same way as a column chart is the same way you'll do it to each and every other chart. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment down your question below. And hit that notification bell so that you're notified on my next video. See you later. Bye.